I recently just saw a news article. I recently just saw a news article saying a bunch of lawyers. What's it? Can I find it? Spike in lawyers questioning their career choice. A well-being charity has seen uptick in calls from the legal professionals questioning their career choice. Law Care, a charity offering free and confidential support to legal professionals over 25 years, has released an annual impact report. According to data collected over the last year, nearly a quarter, 22% of people have reached the cut out of the charity's help line helped and wanted to discuss concerns about the career, an increase of just over 8% in 2021. Career concerns range from training struggles to wanting to retire early, and with the fallout of the pandemic ongoing, many find themselves reflecting on whether they still consider a law as a long, lifelong career. Some 60% of those who have contacted charity were trainees or pupils that had been qualified for less than five years. Furthermore, one third of under 30 raising concerns about pressures faced by young lawyers in the early years of their careers. Other reasons for calling include stress, 22%, anxiety, 12%, and depression, 8%. The majority of the callers were female, 64%, but it was worth noting that there was a 30% increase in percentage of contacts from men, 33%. Law care believes that this may be a result of their work to encourage more men in law to, in law to seek support for their mental health. Listen, guys, here is the penultimate truth. Here's the penultimate truth. When it comes to law, you want to make you the best money in law is defending criminals. I'm just... I don't know, my face is a bit puffy. The best money in law is defending criminals, like rappers that have convict, uh, convicted crimes. Highest priority targets like that. Very rarely you'll be able to represent an individual like Bill Gates, something for like some tax fraud bullshit, which isn't actually true or some shit, or it wasn't actually true. It doesn't matter, right? What matters that you get paid? And the majority of people are going into law, understanding that you don't get paid enough for the most part. You don't get paid enough. You want to retire early. You like the idea of, obviously, you've seen a lot on social media as well. You've seen it. You've seen how a lot of young adults in social media behave. The twenty-five, the twenty, twenty. 21 to 25, they're ultra young, sometimes even 16 to 19, really, really young. You see them just having the most lavish lives you can possibly imagine, and you get jealous, and you think you question what you have, you question the choices you've made so far, you question if you made the right choice so far, and you you you, you, you sit there and you genuinely think about how your choices have led, led up to this moment where you are currently placed at. And here's my biggest advice I can give you. It's good that you question it. Question it even more. And if you don't like it, if you don't like if you don't like the, the money that you're getting paid, because it's all about money, right? Let's not be let's let's not be like, you know, unreal here. It's all about money. You want money. When you you either want to do them high profile cases where you defend like a mafia boss or something like that, you're paid millions in commission or some bullshit. You you want to get paid money. You have to th there's a cost benefit ratio to everything, guys. Like if you have, how do I say this? If you have second thoughts about a career that you're pursuing because the career you're pursuing isn't that good and you're not getting paid enough, you, you doesn't feel like enough and you're just spending your entire life defending either criminals or small cases that don't really impact anyone ever, like, good. It's called a midlife crisis or a bit of a, a, bit of a midlife crisis. You know, like, it's good that you have that because when you have those negative emotions, those emotions where you just want to run away from everything, where everything feels like it sucks, where you feel like you're a failure, where you feel like you're a disappointment, when you have depression, you have anxiety, when you have mental health issues, you know, those those moments are the times where you can change the most. That's called an FTE. MJ DeMarco speaks about this in acute detail. I don't know if you don't know him, he's the author of The Millionaire Fastlane and Unscripted, um, The Great Rat Race Escape. Very, very two very good books two very very good books but he talks about this this is one of those moments that you need in your entire life you have you need the ability to question literally everything that you've accumulated across in your life so far it includes the advice from your parents your friends your other family the advice you've gotten from your career advisor everything question everything and question if it benefits you the most this is what i'm doing this is whatever this is what a lot of other people are doing and when those other people do that they change their lives and they usually turn out for the better okay i want you to know that you don't have to be a lawyer you don't have to be just a doctor you don't have to be just a lawyer just a what a pediatrician for the rest of your life 
We have 80 long years on this planet, bare minimum, in today's technology. You can do whatever the fuck you want. What's stopping you? Why would you just limit yourself like that? And this isn't advice you for, for you to go straight up fucking quit your job. It's that's completely idiocracy. Come on, it's it's idiocracy. Get some money on the side hustle, on the side hustle you really want going. If you really care just about money, do something that pays the most and pays the best within ethical limits, I guess. And you're gonna be fucking selling drugs. Don't sell drugs. I saw on YouTube <laughs> that like they 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 interviewed this like crack dealer some dude. I don't know why. I I blocked all these stupid channels. And then, like, you see them, and he talks about drugs and all this, and the money is so nice. Blah, 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 blah. Have you ever seen a happy drug dealer? A genuinely happy drug dealer? No. No, you haven't. No, you have, of course you haven't. None of them are happy. You know, the career choice that they've, they've taken is a career choice. The entrepreneurship route that they've taken... It's pretty, they're pretty much entrepreneurs because they're selling stuff, right? Growing their own product, selling stuff, then they're making a profit. It's risky, it's dirty, it's ugly, it's, it's horrible, you know? And that's not an insult to them. They, they made the choices that they've made, I hope. It's just, a, it's just a dangerous life to live, you know? It's a very hard life. And a lot of people's choices, it, it takes them there. So you have to understand that your choices take you in a specific place. You have to make sure that the choices that you've had so far and you've made so far have put you in the place that you really want to be. You know what I mean? I say that. What I mean by that is that, like, you don't like the idea of being a lawyer. Don't be a lawyer. Cause you're just gonna be a shit lawyer, and you're gonna make a bunch. Of, you're gonna make a bunch of money, like you hoped. And you're gonna live a mediocre life. It's not gonna be good. I'm not saying necessarily do something you love because passion fades. Everything fades. Everything fades. Your passion, your desire, your want, even the wanting, the desire for money. For monetary gain, if it's you know, you get enough money, people get comfortable, they quit, or they silent quit. Was it was it again? Silent quit. At some point, you give up and you just stay at the place you are. Like the entrepreneur that makes a hundred thousand dollars, one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year, makes ten k a month. That's good enough for him. Passion for money fades. Money's never not an issue anymore. Psh, give up. One hundred twenty k person for life. So. You have to understand that your choices put you in a place that you want to be. If you have a midlife crisis, good. Usually if you're depressed or you have anxiety or you are unsure, it's usually because you're depressed. How do I say this? But you're depressed usually because of your environment. You're, you're anxious usually because you're unsure about the future. And you're unsure because of the choices that you made so far have led you to a place that you want to be. Do you understand me when I say that? Like Same with me. Same with everyone. Everyone should consider this. You know, like, yeah, you even question me. Question me. What does this stupid kid on the internet know? <laughs> you, you have to measure every single choice and every single decision you made. And with, with, inter with, like, how do I say this? With the idea of what's the worst thing that could possibly happen to me and what's the best thing that could possibly happen to me. Happen to me. For example, I become a lawyer. I get paid. Worst thing, I have to represent, uh, I'm really desperate for money, I really need the money, or I'm a, bad, I'm a really bad lawyer, and I, and I don't really get good, good clientele, and it's, it's really hard for business, it's really hard, my career is really bad, and da, 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 I have to switch career, da, 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 da. Or what's the worst thing that happened, I, to... I don't know, what's the worst possible thing that happened to a lawyer? So Goodman, <laughs> you, represent, you get affiliated with criminals, and you can potentially lose your life, you know, it's it, it's the worst possible case scenario. It's not going to happen most of most time, but it's the worst possible case scenario. Best case scenario, get paid money, and I don't really know what the best case scenario for lawyers. Of course, we would have questioned the career choice. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. Every decision you made so far, I want you to question it. Every decision you ma you will make in the future, I want you to question it. For example, getting a mortgage on that house, will you truly live in that place for the next 30 years? Are you glad to just pay monthly payments to a government or a bank where they literally tell you, yeah, you're going to pay more than it actually says on the paper because of interest over time? 
you might have a no interest mortgage. I don't know the full intricacies of mortgages. I should know, know about mortgages. I don't really care at the moment. But I'm, I just plan to rent. But this choice that you made, and people like, uh, just left you, you know. The mediocre Monday life of just get a mortgage, get a house, get a get a car, or finance, and live a mediocre life. And become a lawyer and just <laughs> represent a firm, get paid as a fixed amount, maybe some commission as well. That shit life to me. You have 80 years. You might go on a holiday once a year and you blow a bunch of money for more like four grand in fucking Ibiza or some shit. That is depressing, ladies and gentlemen. That is depressing. Depressing by all means. Every single choice you, you have made and you will make, I want you to question dearly. Question everything. Question all your beliefs. It's very, very powerful. Every single one of your beliefs. Everything that anyone tells you. Everything. Where are we going to go now? Just very weird to me.